Hi Scorpio, welcome back to my channel. This is Kathy. I'm here to do your reading for love and relationships for the last two weeks of September 2017. I apologize, I have a bit of a cold today, so if I sound kind of funny, I apologize. Um, but I'll do my best here. Okay, so Scorpio, this is a general reading. Um, if it resonates with you, please take that and leave the rest. If you'd like a personal reading, please contact me and I will leave all of my information down below. And also please check your moon and rising sign as that can give you a lot of information as well. Um, today I'm using the Romance Angels Oracle deck by Doreen Virtue and also the Oceanic Tarot by Jane Wallace. Okay, Scorpio, I've already shuffled and meditated over your cards, and I have them picked out here for you. So let's go ahead and get started. And I just want to thank um, each and every one of you for commenting and liking and subscribing to my channel. I really appreciate it. Okay. So, Scorpio, at the bottom of the deck, we have the Knight of Wands. And this is your overall energy um, for this reading. Um, you could be communicating with a fire sign, okay, and that would be a Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, or you could be involved with a person who has these energies, okay, and this person you may be connecting with is very passionate, um, they have a lot of energy, they're very upbeat, very positive. Um, there's a lot of movement around this person, I feel, okay? So this person might come into your life very quickly, very unexpectedly. Um, again, very passionate, very charming. And they want to offer you something, okay? All right, so... Underneath the Knight of Wands, we have the Five of Wands. So we have more wand energy, so more fire energy here, Scorpio. And the Five of Wands is all about competition, okay? So there could be some conflict with this person when you first um, meet them. Or this also could be that you're having some inner conflict. I'm feeling for a lot of you... Um, that this could be an internal conflict. So you're kind of at odds with yourself. Um, I feel like there's a strong attraction to this person. But for some reason, you're fighting it. You're, um, I'm getting for a lot of you that you're feeling like there's, like you don't trust this person. And I'm, I'm not sure why, um, but there's a sense of you're just kind of, you're just kind of unsure, okay? And maybe for some of you, this person, you are very attracted to them, but they may seem too good to be true at first, okay? So we're going to see what else the cards have to say for you here, Scorpio. All right. Okay. So your first Oracle card is free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. And clarifying that we have the three of swords in reverse. Okay. So I feel like coming into this last part of September, a lot of you have been, um, dealing with some past heartache. There's an issue um, from your past where somebody has hurt you, somebody has betrayed you, and it seems like this happened more than once, okay? This could be a, this could have been a third party situation um, where you found out the person you were involved with was involved with somebody else. And you just kind of felt, you felt trapped in that situation, okay? But it seems like you've freed yourself from that. Um, 
The Three of Swords, I like to see this card in reverse because this tells me you're letting go of that burden. You're letting go of that pain. Um, you're getting over that heartache. You're putting it behind you. So you are freeing yourself. You're taking back control of your life. And um, whatever this is or whoever this was that hurt you, you're putting it behind you. Okay? So that's great. I like to see that card in the reverse position. Okay, Scorpio. Um, your next card we have is Express Your Love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. And our clarifying card is the Hermit. And that's just a beautiful card. I hope you can see that good. Love the colors in it. Um, some of you, you may be dealing with a Virgo. Okay. Or this could just be your energy. And this is this talks about contemplation. And I feel like you're in a position where you're looking within. You may have been distan distancing yourself from um, love in general. You're just taking some time. You're seeking answers. Um, perhaps doing some soul searching. Looking within and trying to find out what is it that you really want in a partner? Okay. For some of you, I feel like you know what you want, but you're not able to express it right now. Um, you're still kind of in that meditative state and that's okay. You might not be ready for anything serious right now. Okay. But if you look at these cards, I just want to show you, you can see He's kind of looking back towards these Three of Swords. So I feel like some of you are still stuck in the past a little bit. Um, you've gotten over this heartache, but you're still looking back. And I just feel like you're afraid of repeating that. Okay. And it's okay to look at the past and see what you've learned from it. But you don't want to dwell there. Um, you're not going to be, you're not going to be able to move forward if you keep looking, um, back behind you. Okay. So let's see what else we have for you, Scorpio. All right. Your last card we have is make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. And clarifying that we have the queen of wands. Okay. So I do feel like a lot of you are going to be communicating with a fire sign. Um, and that's Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. This person, this could be this Knight of Wands that we have for your overall energy. And I feel like you're getting to know this person a little better. And you're seeing them more as the Queen of Wands, which means... They're more mature. They're more stable. Okay. When you, when you first met them, you felt like they were a little bit immature, like you weren't taking them seriously. Okay. And now you're seeing, um, seeing the depth that they have. Okay. The queen is very mature and stable. She's still very passionate like the knight. Okay. The knight is just full of passion and energy. She still has that great passion. Um, but she's more more mature about it. She's more secure. And she's more grounded than the knight. Um, and this could be um, he or she, of course. This does not have to be. It's not gender specific. Um, but this person that you're dealing with, um, they're very they're very expressive. They're very good at expressing what they want and what they feel. And you might be having trouble with that right now. Um, so this is telling you, Scorpio, to go ahead and make the effort. This person is worth taking a chance on, okay? Um, and it does say great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. So I do feel like um, you were drawn to this person for a reason. You were attracted to them for a reason. 
and you're getting to know them better and you're seeing that they have a lot more to offer you than what you originally thought. Okay, so there's your reading, um, Scorpio. I hope you enjoyed it. And if this resonated with you, please leave me a comment. I love to read your comments and hear about all of your personal situations. If you'd like a private reading, please email me and I would love to do that for you as well. Thanks again for watching guys and I will see you again in October.